Hello everybody and welcome to beautiful Fort Pierce, Florida. We're in the Fort Pierce City Marina right now at Freedom Boat Club of Fort Pierce. We're gonna go over one of my favorite benefits of the club, which is different types of boats. So we're gonna walk you through every single type of boat we have. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start on our center console fishing boat right here. This particular model is the Cobia 237. This is our one of our favorites for the members for going offshore fishing. It handles the waves really well. Um, it does really well on fuel. The members particularly really like how high the gunnels are and how safe they feel in this vessel. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hop on it. We're gonna go over it a little bit more. So why don't you go ahead and follow me right on board. All right, so welcome aboard this beautiful Cobia 237 right here. If we start from the back and the floor here, we got some fish boxes for all your catch. If you want to walk around and take a look at our dash here, we have um, all sorts of electronics that will um, help you have a successful and safe day out on the water, starting with our compass, our mercury gauge. Every boat will come with a seven inch GPS and fish finder and a built-in VHF radio. Also a stereo that is Bluetooth compatible. Um, so you can be catching fish and listening to some music on the way out as well. All right, so we're gonna go through a little bit of the, um, the electronics on this Cobia 237 right here. This one particular, in particular has a Garmin uh, GPS map, seven inch. Uh, right now we are currently on the fish finder screen right here. Uh, it'll show you your depth, your water temperature, the speed that you're currently at, your battery voltage, and the time of day. Once you are inside a screen like this, if you wanna to go to that screen's menu, you can go ahead and press menu. From there, we can adjust the range. Ideally, you'd want it on auto here. So if you're having a problem anytime um, where it is not reading depth or anything like that, always go into this menu screen, make sure you're on auto. You can adjust it here and here until you find that red line on the bottom. Make sure you press auto again, just so you're, you're on that. And then, um, and then you should be able to find your bottom if it's not reading properly. So we'll go ahead and go back here real quick. We'll hit home. It'll bring us to our main menu right here. We, we can switch between sonar or our fish finder or chart or a combination. Um, so I always like to have the combination here. It allows me to not only see my fish finder, but it'll allow me to um, see my map as well. Um, as you can see here, this one is actually taking us to some sort of waypoint right now. Uh, looks like an artificial reef right out here. Um, if you want to stop panning, go back to where you actually are, go to your cursor. You can just press that stop panning button right there. Um, additionally, you know, same sort of thing. If you want to go into your menu, you can go into your fish tart menu, menu or your traditional sonar menu from here. We'll go into this fish point menu right here. I can go ahead and stop that navigation. If I would like to pick another point to navigate to, I can head out here. Okay, I like this spot right there. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go ahead and click navigate to, then go to, and it's gonna go ahead and give me a nice straight line heading towards that direction, just like that. So let me go back to home, get us out of here. Moving to the right side of our dash right here. Um, this is our built-in VHF radio. Um, there's two things on here that really we want to focus on. One is your volume dial. Um, if you are radioing us and you're not hearing anything back, make sure that your volume is you know, at a level where you can be hearing it. Um, the one right below it, this is your squelch. So. Um, as this goes down, you'll start to hear some interference. As you click it up, that interference will go away. So what that's basically doing is blocking out that interference. If this is turned all the way up, it's going to think our dock hands radioing back to you is interference as well. So again, if you're radioing us and you're not hearing a response, make sure that your dial is turned down to where you can hear the interference. And then all you need is just one click up from there, it'll stop and, uh, and you should be able to hear our dock hands. So moving down one more time, this is our Media Master um, stereo right here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and press my power button. It'll bring me my sources. Um, so I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down. I'm gonna hit connect new device. Uh oh, device list is full. Okay, so I'm gonna go over, click yes. I would like to delete somebody. So iPhone EB, see ya, you're gone. Now I'm in pairing mode. It should pop up on your phone in your Bluetooth setting. You should be able to pair to this, no problem. Have a nice fun day out on the water. So that's our basic run through um, of our dash here on the Cobia 237. I really hope this helps with um, your experience on the water. Uh, any other questions, always feel free to ask the dock hands or call the office. Um, we're always willing to help and uh, we'll see you out on the water.